couple of days ago, Amazon Prime dropped Reacher based on the best-selling books by Lee Child. I just watched the first episode. I have opinions, so grab yourself a beer and let's get talking. Hi, it is me, Rolls. I am here to talk to you about Jack Reacher, or Reacher, as they call it on Amazon Prime. I have been really, really stoked for this show for quite a while. Um, Jack Reacher is a character invented by Lee Child in 1997, and I honestly think he's one of the most significant fictional characters in literature uh, going right now. I think he's probably going to be one of the most significant literary characters of the 21st century, and I'm really excited with the way Amazon have like grabbed this intellectual property and just done something really special with it. I know in 2012, uh, Tom Cruise, yeah, Tom Cruise bought the rights to the Jack Reacher series and he made two movies and they were very, very good movies, actually. They were very competent movies, but they weren't Jack Reacher. However, I do absolutely respect what Tom Cruise tried to do with those things. The thing is, though, he didn't quite get what Jack Reacher is about. He didn't quite get the, the angle to it. And when it comes to a property like this, concept is king. And you have to be able to understand exactly what it is that has made the Jack Reacher series just so prodigiously popular. I think the last book that Lee Child published, that would be 26 books in the series. I mean, that's amazing. That's twice the lifespan of James Bond. What is it about Jack Reacher that readers really, really love? And the television show that Amazon Prime put together, uh, I mean, I've only watched the first episode, but it's like right from the very, very start, it's like, boom, they get it. They really, really get it. Tom Cruise was all about the story and the plot and stuff like that, but you've got to really concentrate on the concept to make a show like Reacher work, and that's what Amazon did. What am I even talking about? Well, if you're not familiar with the character Jack Reacher, Jack Reacher is an ex-US Marine cop uh, who kind of like demobilized in his 30s and he wanders around America having adventures and getting up to, to mischief and stuff like that. Uh, it was, uh, Lee Child described it as like a knight errant and I kind of like it as a concept because to me it's like the, the lone gunslinger wandering through the desert or uh, Michael Knight in Knight Rider or the Saint, the Saint Errant um, as one of Leslie Charteris' books was called. The whole idea of like being this hero from wanders from place to place having adventures that's something that really really appeals to a lot of guys and a lot of male readers but the thing that makes Jack Reacher different is that he is a physical giant he is six foot five he is uh, 250 pounds in fact Lee Child the author yeah, he, he says he based him or based like the physical description of uh, Lawrence uh, Delaglio, Delaglio, who was like World Rugby Hall of Fame uh, rugby union player, six foot four, sandy blonde hair, 250 pounds, built like, excuse my French, the proverbial brick shithouse. And the thing about Jack Reacher as a character that just works so, so well is the fact that Jack Reacher is this huge, intimidating guy. And it colours every single interaction he has because, I mean, you know, we live in a, in a very egalitarian society. But listen, when you have somebody who is six foot five, 250 pounds, solid muscle looming over you, and they're like a US Marine trained or killer, it's incredibly intimidating. And it's the one thing that I think the way Lee Child describes it's the one thing that separates Jack Reacher from every other you know, a hitman or killer character you've got. I mean, James Bond, quintessential gentleman spy, was like, described as he six foot two or six foot one and like 170 pounds, which is kind of uh, only slightly heavier than me. It's like he was, he was a, re a regular sized dude, whereas Jack Reacher is a bear. Um, there's this wonderful way Lee Child described it. He said, uh, his face looked like he'd been chipped out of a rock by a sculptor who had ability, but not much time. And what's great about the Jack Reacher show is that they set this up immediately. You have this huge looming figure, steps off this bus into the pouring rain, and he walks into a diner, and he sits down, and he's bigger than everybody else, and police cars come to come and arrest him. And right from the get-go, the police come in, you can see they're physically terrified of him, and they're holding their guns, shaking. And you actually feel also Jack Reacher's 
fear because he knows that, you know, if he does anything wrong, these people are going to shoot him and kill him because they're terrified of him. And I think being the kind of person who terrifies people when you're around them, it has its advantages, but it also has its disadvantages. And the, another great like scene that like established who Jack Reacher was right from the very get-go was when he was walking into the diner there was a, a boyfriend and a girlfriend they were having an argument the boyfriend looked like he was being abusive and Jack Reacher just stares at the guy and the guy like at first is, is blustering but there is this power this quiet power to somebody who is so physically intimidating and the guy just like shuts up apologizes leaves job done and I think that's something else that comes across really well in this show is the fact that Jack Reacher is a man who has the physical capability of beating the crap out of pretty much anybody but he doesn't and nine times out of ten if given the opportunity he will solve problems through peaceful methods using his huge like intimidating power as leverage but he never needs to like leverage that into physical violence it's a uh, it's a really, really interesting concept for a character, and it's that concept that makes the entire Jack Reacher series so successful. It's a concept, it's very interesting actually. Um, I'm just looking, yeah, Lee Child is the guy who, who wrote the Jack Reacher series. I didn't need to look at my piece of paper, I already knew that. But um, it was very interesting when he was talking about um, how he came up with the character of Jack Reacher. Apparently this was the, the 90s and Lee Child was working as a writer for Granada Television. Um, back in the 90s we had like four television channels, it was hilarious. Uh, anyway, Granada Television, yeah I remember I remember their ending screen with like London Bridge or something like that. He got fired from there, he was very pissed off and he decided to write a story and he writes about how it's, he cynically wrote something that he thought would be commercially successful. And that's why he came up with this concept that's so strong of like this huge, powerful figure. And I think when most of us write, we want to tell the stories ourselves. And often, especially with, with tedious male writers like myself, when you first start writing, you make a lot of your characters very autobiographical. My first book, Adventure Eddie, was about, yeah, this plucky ginger kid off in Paris having adventures. I mean, I wonder where I found the inspiration for him. And it's kind of a tedious thing. But what I love is the fact that Lee Child didn't do that. But he also did at the same time. Lee Child is a British guy. Um, and he wrote about, uh, like, a, well, I wouldn't call him blue collar, but like a, a, a real down, corn-fed American spirit. But they do have certain physical characteristics that are the same. Lee Child writes about being six and four and how much intimidated his classmates. And I don't know, I love, I love the juxtaposition, juxtaposition of that, but I also think the fact that Lee Child came up with a concept for what Jack Reacher was going to be about and then wrote the books is why it works so, so well. Anyway, I, I'm really passionate about this because I think that Lee Child is like a, a master craftsman. I always say writing is a craft, not an art, and he has crafted something that delivers exactly what so many readers want and then he repeats that except he adds a nice little twist and he repeats it and adds a ni nice little twist in all of the 26 Jack Reacher books you get exactly what you want and need and, and desire but there's always a little twist which makes it it's like getting the same old crap in a brand new way uh, but I wouldn't call it crap because the Lee Child is just an incredibly effective storyteller what he does is really really masterful um, it's not the same old crap, but basically it's like if you like burgers. I, I love burgers. You could eat burgers every single day for the rest of your life, but it'll probably get quite boring. So what you want is a burger. Each one has a little twist. Maybe it's the cowboy burger with barbecue sauce, or maybe it's the Hawaiian burger with a slice of avocado. I don't know. But there are so many different ways to bring something fresh to something that's like got a, a structure, and Lee Child does that brilliantly. Anyway, I'm completely digressing. Um, the show Jack Reacher though it really it right from the get-go like that's what they lean into and I think that's why it kind of grabs you and it's what made the 2012 and the 2014 film with with Tom Cruise kind of fall flat because Reacher has to be this big intimidating guy what I think then works really well in the show is the way they they leverage that sense of power because um, the, the opening scenes within the first few minutes Jack Reacher goes to jail 
and he goes to jail with a very physically um, unimpressive guy who is absolutely terrified because he's like a, a, a white collar uh, educated guy who didn't mean to get into this. He has no like street background whatsoever so he's absolutely terrified and Jack Reacher of course is in this environment with all sorts of desperate people. It must be terrifying to be like a, re a regular person who has no experience being thrown into and in this case it's a jail full of people who are there on life sentences. I mean it's it's real Darwinism, law of the jungle type stuff. And I think the show did a really good job of, of making us feel how intimidating that situation would be in. And there again, like you can see the character of Jack Reacher, how having that physical strength and that physical size and that intimidation, it can be something really useful for intimidating other people, keeping other people at bay. But then again, it can make you a target. And he goes on about how, you know, trouble has always followed him around. But you can imagine that if you're that kind of guy, you can't go anywhere quietly. You can't um, just be lost in a crowd. You are always going to draw attention. And when you are somebody who is so physically intimidating, it's always going to be negative attention from certain types of people. Just thinking, it's you, you, gentle giant is a very legitimate saying. I know a lot of like physically huge people, and they are generally gentle people. And it's the tiny guys, like the Conor McGregor's, who are like, you know, world-class fighters, but they're still picking fights with people in pubs because they're so freaking insecure. I think the wonderful thing about Jack Reacher as a character is it's kind of like addictive and escapist to read about a character who's unencumbered by insecurity and unencumbered by that sense of fear. Because I think guys, whenever we enter a room, we do size up everybody in that room. We are always aware and conscious of danger that other people may pose. It might be physical danger. It might be, you know, danger from from their position of power. So it's addictive to read stories and watch stories about somebody who doesn't experience that same type of fear. But at the same time, the other thing I think is really addictive that works so well is the fact that Jack Reacher has no attachment to anything. You know, he has $212 and a passport on him. And he goes from town to town and he has no house, he has no girlfriend, he has no property, he has you know, barely anything. And I think to a certain extent, they even said in the first episode where she goes, oh, oh where he says some people are jealous of, of this. I think there is something really, really compelling for guys especially reading stories like that because life is hard and having responsibilities is really, really difficult. And sometimes you think, wouldn't it be nice to just get in the train and go somewhere? And Jack Reacher is like a real different character to like the self-loathing uh, alcoholics and, and stuff you normally read about, you know. I mean, no offense to James Bond, but sometimes he did come across as like a cripplingly depressed alcoholic. Whereas Jack Reacher is just a guy with no attachment, but his only real vice is drinking coffee. Um, the show, yeah. Make, uh, explains that and his lifestyle really effectively. They managed to move the plot along with the scene where he's doing some shopping in a thrift store and that allows them to explain the whole concept of how, you know, he has the clothes he's wearing. When they need to be changed, he goes to a thrift store and he buys a brand new set of clothes, tosses the old set of clothes into their bin to get recycled and sold again, and then off he goes. And it, it's almost like he's a monk. What is it they say in Casino Royale? James Bond looks like you want me to be half monk, half hitman. And it's there's something very monk-like about Jack Reacher and what he represents. Um, Sifu Lamas, Alex, uh, who drops lots of comments uh, normally on my videos because he's a very kind, patient person. He and I were talking about, you know, how attachment is something that that can cause you a lot of pain. And right now we're watching the Book of Boba Fett, where um, little baby Grogu. You know, he has to choose between one life or another because attachment is against the Jedi Code. Having, not having those physical attachments or those relationship attachments can be something that seems incredibly compelling, especially to men as they reach a certain age and they find themselves almost drowning under the attachments that they have. So, yeah, it makes it all a really, really interesting story and concept and character to follow. And I think Amazon are doing a really great job at the moment of bringing that to life. And I'm really, really excited. I feel that Jack Reacher is kind of in the same place in our modern society as the character of James Bond was in like 1958. It's like 
1958, they'd, they'd already done one TV movie of Casino Royale, so people had dipped their toes into what potential this character had. But, and you can say the same with Jack Reacher with like Tom Cruise's movies, but it was before they made like Doctor No and they launched James Bond into the stratosphere and they also like turned Ian Fleming's career as a nice comfortable one into something explosive. And I've got a feeling that Jack, uh, Jack Reacher could be on the cusp of doing something like that. I mean, there are so many different compelling elements about what the character is and what he represents. And I think the actor Adrian Richardson, is that his name? He does such a great job of sort of bringing it in um, that I think it's gonna open up the whole concept of this character to so many, so many more people and people who don't normally read books and stuff and they're gonna find it compelling as well. So I think this is the start of something big and, and Lee Child, um, in the unlikely event you are out there watching this. Let me watch some random ginger on YouTube. Uh, yeah, but you've done a fantastic job when you've laid a lot of lot of hard groundwork to get where you are. But uh, yeah, the concept and, and character of Jack Reacher is fascinating and compelling. And I am so excited to see Amazon do real justice to it. And yeah, we'll see where it goes. I don't know, I might watch episode two and think it's a load of crap. So watch this space. But right now I'm pretty impressed. So Amazon, Lee Child, good job. Cheers. I'm Roland Hume. I've sold 67,000 copies of my books. If you want to find out how I did it, I've got a link right here you can click. And otherwise, don't forget to subscribe. I've got more videos coming soon. Thank you.